everyone, it is me, Makeup Doc Lucas. Today I was playing with eyeshadow palette and I realized I could easily give a review of it. So I'm going to give a review of this NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette in Warm Neutrals because it looks beautiful and it kind of reminded me of like every Morphe, Morphe palette I've ever seen. Anyways, here are the colors and I'm going to try to recreate this eye look um, with this. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild, I don't even know, but it's a fluffy brush and it's like one of the best makeup brushes I own. So, I highly recommend it. It's like $2. Go get yourself an elf. Oh, an elf? Nope, I like it better like this. So, I'm going to have creepy lighting the rest of the time because that's what I say. Okay, so with this wet mild brush, I'm taking, oh god, this is not gonna focus. This shade right here, oh my god, that's not what I'm gonna do. What I am gonna do, oh my, that is not what I'm gonna do because what I'm actually gonna do is set my eyelids. So I am taking this shade just in my crease. Now, from what I can say from using it on the first eye, is these are not like that pigmented but um they do kind of build so that's like still a good thing like you can still see it's done something it's not like it's barely there but that's what two goes so it is buildable um I'm pretty sure I don't know I have to like rethink everything now. yeah I will say I am pretty bummed that there's not like a mirror here because that'd be like the perfect size mirror Whatever. I really think the packaging is like cute, so doesn't matter. It does not matter. Right here. You know, it's just a little bit darker. It's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> I wonder what time it is. Probably should know that. Alright, and so the next color I'm gonna take is here. Yep. And it's like this warm, like, almond color almost, like brown, but it's not like too deep. So I'm just like light color and light color and light color to deepen the crease, which, is, you know, it's not the greatest thing. But, oh, that actually did like a lot. That's like a really good, that was a good touch. Also, I'm taking this brown and just starting to put it here so there's not just like, a white line there's just a little bit on the lid for when I'm gonna put some color on there now here's where it gets trickier is I really want darkness here but like so I'm obviously I'm gonna go to it to this shade and this shade but this is the darkest shade they have they do not have like a stark black which is what I want because I need a dramatic here's NYX elemental fire palette I love this palette so much I got this a few months ago Yes, and it's like my favorite palette I've ever used. Um, everything blends nice. The colors are buildable. And it's like my favorite thing ever is the verdict. But this has like a nice dark black in it. And like that's what I like to use to dark up, darken up. Because like I don't got time. Just kidding. I have lots of time. Okay. So now I'm going to take uh, this color, which is turning up. I feel like a lot more red on camera than it is in real life. It is a little bit, uh, well, it's a little bit more brown in real life. And then I'm going to take this shade and this shade, and I'm just going to start darkening up the crease as much as I can and the outer corner. Okay, so we see that. Good, good. For my, oh, do you see that already? Is it patchy? Like, I feel like that's not blended out very well. And I feel like the pigment I just put there is, like, gone. But, you know, we're going to work with it. We're going to work with it. We're going to have a good time. I feel like when I open my eye, this part is, like, lighter than the rest of it. But when I, like, go like it doesn't. I don't know. I'm back. I ended up trying to do something but it didn't work so I decided to come back because I really want to make a full review of this palette um I ended up I did end up darkening the crease with 
these two colors and this color. Uh, yeah, I don't know how dark it got, but oh well. Oh my god, can my chair be any louder? Cool. Yes, I know my eyeliner. It's not even. Don't. Don't come for me. Now I'm going to do my face, which is like a great part. But I just got this Makeup Revolution. What are these even called? Revolution London liquid highlighters and I just got it and I have been wanting one of these for so long oh my god so I finally got my hands on one and I'm like super duper happy about it cool 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 whatever so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this because I want to do the Instagram thing you know we're like oh. yes I know I've done that with my foundation already I don't I don't want to talk about it. That's my foundation. NYX con Total Control Drops. I believe it's the lightest shade they had. Um, when I went to go get matched there and get the thing, this chick who was fairly pale was like, I'm pale, but like, I'm not you pale. So you're just gonna need to like get a whitener. So basically, my shade of foundation is just like white. Like, ghost with a tan. That's like a good explanation of what my shade is yes i know this is so dumb and like you know <gasps> cute and stuff i just like applying it that way good now this is like one of the best foundations i've ever used maybe because i just didn't have my right shade before there we go aha <gasps> Oh no, I'm not a ghost yet. Yeah, there we go. We got the ghost with a tan look. This is a great foundation. You can build up the coverage. I always like want full coverage. Like if I'm gonna use a foundation that, oh, that was disappointing. That can be full coverage, why wouldn't I? That's just me. I do like using the Beauty Blender for this. Um, I don't know. I tried using brushes. I got a couple brushes. One I got when I was like first starting out makeup. And I got like it from Sephora and Shade Match from Sephora. And it was literally like so dark. Like not my skin tone at all. But I'd use it, and I'd be like, oh, I'm so cool. And then I finally realized that it's not my skin tone. I was like, oh. I think foundations are supposed to be your skin tone. All of y'all who hate foundation on the lips need to... Just l let me be. Oh my god. That looks terrible. I'm using the Tarte tape. Listen. I know the whole thing's going on with the Tarte tape. I know it. But do you think I have money to go and buy new foundation? Also, this is literally the only foundation I have ever used that's covered up my dark circles. I have like a NYX... I meant to say concealer. I realize that. I have like a NYX one, but that's way too dark for me. Listen, I'm just going to keep using this until it runs out. And then I'm going to decide if I'm going to repurchase it. I probably am. I just think... I think Tarte has learned now that next time they try to get away with that, like, tomfoolery. It will not be tolerated. But also, if Tarte ever wanted to reach out to me and send me PR. Yes, please. I'm gonna use the Jackie Aina trick and just let that chill. So, I'm... <clears> okay. <throat> I'm using this Wet n' Wild con contour stick. I don't know if that's what it's called, but... I got the blush stick of this okay. is that even? I think that's like kind of almost even god it's crazy No, I only do it on the sides of my face sometimes I'll do it here but that's only really when I do foundation before eyes which just isn't that often I'm not gonna lie to you I used to do foundations before eyes like all the time if you hear, like, walking and stuff, don't worry. That's just my duck. It's just my duck. Don't worry about it. 
You hear that? That is also my dog. Yeah, we're gonna say that's good. I can't. Do you able to have it not be good right now? <gasps> no! Oh my god, I did it. I saved us. Whew. Girl. Okay, I'm just gonna pray. Oh my god. I regret everything in life. Oh my god, welcome to future channel that I have. <laughs> um yes, hello. Hi. My name's Lucas. I'm transgender and well technically I'm non-binary, but nobody knows what the heck that means. So and um I love makeup and I am a cruelty free makeup artist because I don't stand with that cruelty. I don't I don't stand it. You have no idea how excited I am for this. One time my dentist told me that my teeth were in yellow, I was just like way too pale. Not too pale, just like really pale. It was a great time. Ooh. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ever since I saw Jeffree Star do this, when I used to watch and stand you Jeffree Star, like you know. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh. Oh. Can you see that? Uh, uh, I think you can. That's actually really nice. And then to part I accidentally. <laughs> but it, it isn't like adding too much. I bet it's like buildable though. Let me see if I can build it up to even more like. Really I wanted to try the cover FX ones. But then I was like Makeup Revolution has it for nine dollars so i got it at ulta by the way which is why it's in dollars for me makeup revolution once again hello please send me products i'd love to test out your products every cruelty free brand out there except for a couple i'm not gonna name please send me it's fit beauty i saw you wanted um promoters hit me up I'm actually getting one of the products. Oh, that's like so pretty. Yeah, that actually like looks really nice. I love that. Okay, word of advice, don't wait 800 minutes to blend out your concealer. Because it will end up making you cry. First impressions using this too. That's so pretty and metallic, but like also just like... Oh my god, that's so beautiful. I don't know why I just put on a bunch of stuff to blend out, even though I was just like, hey, maybe don't wait forever. Jackie, I feel lied to. She just doesn't know who I am. She's never gonna know who I am. Ooh, girl. <laughs> You're so flexible. I see beauty gurus do that. Hey! What was I even gonna do next? Probably highlight. Let me. I got you. Okay, I have this Wet and Wild highlighting palette. This is fifteen dollars, I believe. When I first first got it, I um, was like, mm, I don't know. Like, I really wanted some more blue and green highlights because I love crazy highlights. I'm not gonna lie. And I was like, oh, okay, because I was like, I need some more. First of all, I'm not. I haven't. I don't own any of the Anastasia Glow palettes, but I've seen them, and this, like, looks very similar. It's a lot, like, cheaper, though. I'm not gonna lie. This is, like, coming off. But these are gray highlights. Let me just, like, show you. Oh, you can't. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Sweet Peony. Is that one of their, like, actual shades, or is one just, like, made up for this? Do, 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 do. Okay. Ooh, do you see that? You can't. You literally cannot. It's not like glittery. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like a, they look really glittery, and so that I first like, <gasps> stop, stop. 
job. When I first saw them, I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. But they're, like, not glittery. They're, like, really smooth. I don't know. You've heard everybody talk about it. I've heard Manny M.U.A. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get the whole name of it. Uh, you've heard, um, uh, you know, I don't know who else are there. I think Jack and Hill once talked about it, maybe. Did Nikki talk about it? Who else talked about it? Kathleen Lights. She, like, loves these, right? 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 Okay. Oh, boy, we're almost done. Okay, okay, okay. I need to do this before I run out of battery on my... Taking this pixie makeup fixing mist. Uh... Oh boy! I'm gonna let this set and then I'm gonna come back to do lips. Oh my god! This is the finished look. Hope you like it. I forgot to do under eye, but you know, I'm gonna it. And the NYX Ultimate Palette was. This time was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little so this is my first video. Do you want to talk about the this? Want to talk about this one? Okay, this is fantastic. I bet if I mix it with my foundation, it just makes me look healthy and happy and fine. That was really well. honorable mention. Yeah. So that was my first video. I hope y'all enjoy and keep watching. I will see you on next time.